All right guys, hey, it's Elio. Today we're gonna learn how to hit a good return of serve. Before we even worry about hitting the ball, I want you to think, where am I gonna start based on how the serve is coming to me? Am I serving against a strong server or a weak server? And then what am I actually trying to do with the ball? Am I really trying to attack it? Or am I just trying to work my way into the point? Okay, all these things really matter depending on the choices that you're gonna to make to actually hit the ball. So let's think the most generic return of serve, the average server is serving to you. You can control the pace somewhat, it's not super fast, and you're comfortable enough with your own ability that you can get the ball in and get the point started, okay? Now the more defensive mindset and the way in general, my favorite shot is return of serve, and I get a lot of success out of this strategy. When the ball is served to me, no matter where it is, in general, off a first serve, I'm trying to go back right where that ball came from. I'm not trying to change direction because it gets a lot harder, but if I'm prepared, I can keep it back to where it came from, time it well, put it tough down to their feet if it's in singles, or even in doubles if they're coming forwards, keep it a little bit short, put it down near their toes, and they're already instantly struggling. I'm not trying to hit a winner and win the point, but that's the mentality. I'm trying to get my way into the point with a good return. Okay, so, in general, when you're, when you're starting your return of serve, your toes are just on the baseline, okay? So based on how fast the serve is coming to you is gonna be where, was gonna determine where you begin. So in this sense, I'm starting a little bit low, all right? I've got a certain grip that I'll explain in a second, but think about my positioning with my feet is gonna be on that baseline. Say that's where I feel comfortable starting, then I'm gonna go through my motion and return. Get that depth of the court sorted in your mind first, depending on what you want to do. Now let's think I'm serving against a weaker player. All right, well, I'm going to take a step or two forwards as the ball sits up to me. Now I can hit it. I'm serving against a John Isner or a Karlovich, you know, or someone who can really hit their serve fast. You know, I'm getting the ball up here maybe, or I'm just trying to block it back and defend. So instantly you've got a few different strategies. Think about where you want to start your return of serve based on who you're playing. Okay, now as far as technique goes, what I want you guys to think about is how you split and move to your return of serve, especially at pace, is gonna be extremely important. Now, at pace, it's a lot like a volley technique. If you've watched some of my other videos, you can revisit that. Very similar in the way our feet move when we don't have much time. So, for example, there's very amount, a lot of ways you can do this. I'll show you two. I can start on my toes, I'm bouncing, I'm ready to receive the serve as the serve is coming to me. I'm actually creeping forward slightly, okay? So what I'm doing as I'm receiving is I'm coming forwards so I make sure my momentum is falling forwards. The balls of my feet are on the ground, my heels are just slightly up so I'm falling forwards. That means I'm gonna go forwards into the ball. I'm gonna use my momentum to hit it, okay? So that's a lot better with good forward momentum because my racket now has to do a lot less. I'm gonna go a lot longer through the ball versus if I was going backwards, I'm not gonna go through that ball as long, I'm not gonna be as consistent. So let's think about the feet. I'm ready as I'm coming forward slightly, I simply split as the ball is served to me, okay? Now let's pretend the ball's gone to my backhand, it's gone down the tee, it's a good serve, all right? So I've got my feet ready, I split, I'm slightly falling forwards on those toes. Now which foot moves first, is it this one? Or is it this one? Pause this video right now. I want you to think to yourself, which foot moves first and why? Be right back. Okay, so did you get it right? Your outside foot wants to move first. Why is that? Because you've really got time for two steps on your serve. When you step out to the ball, that's gonna help me turn my shoulders and load that outside foot that I'm hitting the ball with, okay? So I'm loading, I'm turning, my backswing's not huge, okay? I'm trying to just control it with a smaller backswing, and as I'm loading, I'm actually pushing forwards to the ball, okay? So what it's gonna look like if I did it at real time, I've got my happy feet, I split, I step, and I finish forwards, okay? So I've got a small backswing, a long follow through, so I can really hit through the ball nice and long, but I'm not overhitting it, maybe getting it late, okay? I'll do one quickly. Okay, that's the idea. So that outside foot helps me load and get there. Now, you probably notice I can cover a lot of the court like that. It's all in that first big step, okay? 
if I've got time, I can take a few little steps and adjust. That's the luxury in tennis. Against faster servers, you're going to take a lot less steps. You don't have the time, okay? You're going to be really efficient with the way you move. So as you're ready, split. One big step is going to get you to the ball. It's going to prepare your body and your racket where now you can turn and hit through. Practice that loading. If it goes to my forehand, it's the same story. Split, step as my racket goes back, or I can push my racket back, some players might do. As I'm loaded now, I'm stepping forwards and I'm ready for the ball, okay? That's neutral. Let's revisit attack and defense in the next video. Practice preparing and then you'll get better as we go as far as moving to the ball goes. One more thing. I said I'd show you two different ways to do the return. This is a second way. I, I might even show you three, so why not, right? So James Blake, when I watched him play at the Australian Open a few years back, he would simply take a big step, big jump, he almost lands on his heels, but his momentum's carrying him forwards and then he moves, okay? Personally for me, that's too excessive. I like something a lot more subtle where I'll start extremely low, so no matter how hard you hit the ball to me, how much slice you put on it, I'm always below the ball, able to control it, and I can always come up into the ball if it's a high serve, okay? So I like this low business. What I will personally do is I'll take one step forwards, and that gets my momentum going forwards. This has been a reoccurring theme in all three of those techniques. You gotta pick something that works for you. Maybe it's a loose racket, and then as you, Split, you're ready, okay? You're moving forwards. Find some way to get your momentum going forwards. That's the key there. Okay, for me, I like that one step, boom. I'm low, I'm ready. No ball's getting past me because I'm ready to move, okay? The problem with being straight is, oh, I might have great vision and be able to read the ball, but now I can't use my feet. So get that split step, get the momentum going forwards, get ready, and good luck ripping the ball.